Hello, internet. So, <clears throat> I'm starting a vlog, a daily vlog. Um, I sort of hate myself for that. But whose fucking life is very interesting. I just want it as an exercise, really, to make a little movie every day, to put some cool music to it, and to... Um, so my girlfriend watches vlogs, uh, and previously I've watched them, and uh, I, I hate the people that do it. I've started getting into a guy uh, called Casey Neistat, and uh, I'm quite inspired by him, to be honest. The main reason I'm doing this, or the, the reasons I've, uh, I've justified, in his vlogs, you can see his little baby growing up. And I thought, what a nice thing it would be for my little girl to see what her mum and dad were up to when she was tiny. I'll introduce you to her now. People that don't know me, um, who are watching this, I'm a musician, you know, I've got an album coming out in October, that's going to be a good thing to film. Um, other than that, it's going to be me making breakfast. So I'm driving to London. I've started the vlog on a day when I am doing some cool shit. I'm going to see Iggy Pop at the Royal Albert Hall. I'm meeting Andy, my darling brother from another mother. And some eat, eat a burger and see Iggy Pop at the Royal Albert fucking Hall. I mean, the problem with vlogs, the one people just come across as pretentious, don't they? Look at my life, here's my fucking life. And I drive around in my fucking nice car, and I drink this lovely coffee in this trendy little village that I live in, and look at my beautiful wife, and it just makes me think, fuck you, basically. And hopefully mine won't be like that. I'm gonna try and be the anti-pretentious vlogs. I'm gonna fail, but I'm gonna try. London is a much nicer place I've found since I stopped living here. Oh, I just enjoy it more. So, I'm here at the Royal Albert Hall. I've been here uh, before. Once, the first time I was 19 and I saw Eric Clapton with a friend of mine. And uh, I was really, really stoned. And, and uh, I don't really recall that much, to be honest. We were still, we had terrible seats. We looked at the back of him for a couple of hours. Uh, the, the second time I went was about six years ago and I'd really hurt my leg because I was pissed and I, I drove my bicycle into a fence and a bush and I was on crutches and I saw Cirque du Soleil and I got really drunk and don't really remember anything. Today I'm not drunk uh, and here is the Royal Albert Hall. It's good to be in London. Here's some time lapses of the Royal Albert Hall because I've never done one and they're cool as fuck.
So we saw Iggy Pop, and he, he, I give him a strong 10 out of 10. What do you give him, Andy? 10, ten, ten out of 10. 11. 11, 11, out, of 10. 11 out of 10. This is the end of the very first vlog uh, I've ever done. I hope uh, it's been as terrible as I expected. <laughs> Iggy Pop t-shirt. So, um, hello Edie. Um, I've changed my mind. I'm going to do a weekly vlog because I, I'm in Essex at the moment. I'm seeing my family. I'm seeing your auntie Hannah and Uncle Andy and I'm going to see Del Boy, my stepdad and your uh, granddad, stepdad, and my mum, and I'd have to spend two hours today editing the short stuff that I've, I've filmed yesterday, and I don't want to do that. Um, I want to just enjoy my day. <laughs> yeah, well, I've just got a lot of stuff to do at the moment. I'm trying to finish a book that I'm writing, and I'm trying, and I've also got a lot of stuff to do in terms of the release of my album, so I'm just going to do a weekly one, and. I don't know what I'm talking about. That is the new manifesto. Viva something. Hello, ma'am. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, How are you? A lovely surprise, eh? Just gonna... That was my mummy, my sister. Andy's uh, bumped into an old friend of mine as well in town. Andy's now driving us over to his brother's Ollie to see uh, his little baby and have a cup of tea. Very nice indeed. Hi. <laughs> Get in the tunnel. Get in the tunnel. Get in the tunnel. Get in the tunnel. I've had a really nice day in Essex. I'm on my way back to my girls who are both going to be asleep by the time I get back to Bournemouth. But I'm free from fear. Free from worry and that's good enough. Okay, this is the end of day two of my weekly vlog. Coming soon, in a minute, day three. I might even do some reviews of foods and albums and trousers. My. Good morning. Look at 
be sad, baby. Oh, did I hit the window? Yes. You are thirsty. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. Late for a meeting, so I was going to film me cycling down the beach, but I just need to cycle fast, so I'm going to get run over. So, bye. Gratuitous beach shop, gratuitous beach shop. I am still going to be late, but that's okay. It's Sunday after all, what do they fucking expect? I'm nearly at my meeting. I'm not very late. So the meeting's over. Just stopping for a quick coffee. I'm going home to see my girls.
sent him back. Very boring video, but I'm running. I love running. And I used to fucking hate runners. But it makes me feel good. My poor baby is under the weather. Edie, when you're watching this, you're not very well right now. And it's hard. Because there's nothing we can do other than just give you a little cuddle. It's like smoky camera. It's like greasy hands. I'm just that's just gonna look terrible. <laughs> that's gonna look terrible. Mm. The camera on the front of those phones is not very good either. Uh, okay. on the back. Anyway. And if you film it this way up, it it's like that on the screen. Oh, right, easy tiger. <laughs> I'm an expert vlogger. By the end of day three, I have got it sussed. What was that terrible film we watched? The Hunger Games. And we ate lentils. That was the end. What was your score for The Hunger Games? I give it 4.2. 3 out of 10. Okay, the end. Mockingjay Park 55. We love you, Edith. Bye. <laughs>